Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I am going to show it to you task number 6. Let's go and see what is the task number 6. So the task number 6 is change the default settings changes as per the lab topology. So I am going to change the default setting changes as per the lab topology. Which means by default in Astro PBX, the extensions are configured with 1000, 1001, 1002 like that. But here, as per my lab topology, I am going to configure 101, 102, 103 like that. So that time, how you are going to change your default settings? So first of all, go and access your PBX with your username and password. Then click login. Then after that, click on the settings. Then after that, you can go to the general. So if you see in the general settings, just go down, you can able to see there is a user extensions. So by default, whenever you go to your extensions, you can able to see the predefined extensions. So at the moment, I don't want to use this extension. So I'm going to delete it first, say yes. Then after that, click apply. Then after that, you go back to the general. Then here I am going to say I want to start with 101. Then let's say I want to give you up to 199. Then after that, click save. Now I have successfully saved. So this is what I am going to do the general settings. So the next task is that enable the DHCP service. So now once I connect my phones to my switch, I need to give the IP address. So either you can able to give manually, but you can able to do it from DHCP as well. But here to give the manual, it's a very difficult process because sometimes maybe the IP address is going to repeat. That's why it's always not recommended to give manual IP address. So what I'm going to do, my PBX is going to act as a DHCP server as well. So I'm going to configure the DHCP service in my PBX. Let's go and see it. So let's go to the settings. Then after that, you can go to the security. Then if you see here, there is a service. So click on this service, then go down. Then you can see here in the down, enable DHCP server. So now my gateway is 192.168.10.1. The subnet mask is fine. And my preferred DNS is 213.42.20.20. In case if you have an alternate, you can specify that. Then after that, where you want to start your DHCP range. So let's say I want to start from 192.168.10.100 to 192.168.10.1. Then so this is what I'm going to give you. Then after that, this is the TFTP server and this is your NTP server. Then after that, save. Once you save, then you can able to see here the DHCP is running. Then after that, you can click close. So this is what how you can configure DHCP and how you can change your default settings. Thank you for watching. In my next lab, I'm going to show it to you the another task, which is how to add the extensions. Thank you for watching. For sales, please send us an email, sales at datawise.com.